all right friends welcome back to another video on laravel liveware in alpine.js and in this video i'm going to show you how we can create animated like or unlike something similar to twitter or instagram using laravel liveware in alpine.js so over here we have this icon and once i click on this icon it will change to liked state with animations so let me show you let me click this and it is changing to the liked state with animations so let me zoom in so that you can see this clearly on the video as well so let me zoom this so now let me unlike it and it is changing back to the dim state and which is also called unliked state now once i click on this icon it will change back to the liked state with animations see how cool this is so in this specific video we'll be building the exact same functionality so let's get started just a quick note that recently I am working on one course called SPA with Laravel Liveware. So if you are interested in building single page application with Laravel Liveware, then go ahead and enter your email address over here so that you will get notified when this course is launched. And I will put this website link on the description, go ahead and check that out. Now let's get back to the video. So to make this possible, we need two extra things uh, except Laravel Liveware and Alpine.js. We need animated icons so for this specific video i'm using this uh, free animated icons from icons 8.com so i'm using these icons which is animated and we need to download the json file of this animated icon so if you want to create your own unique animated icons then you can tell your designers who knows after effects then they can use body moving plugins and they can extract their animations to json file easily using that plugins and to render this animation and to play specific segments from that animations, we need to use another library. And for this, we'll be using the library called Lottie and which is created by Airbnb for their own projects. So we'll be using this library. So let's get started. Okay, so before we start, let me recap the what we did on the previous video. So if you haven't watched that video, go ahead and watch that video for more details. So over here we have this icon and once user click on this icon we are calling the toggle like method and inside of toggle like function if it is liked then we are decrementing the count and we are making it liked as false and if it is not liked then we are incrementing the count and we are making it liked as true. Uh, this is quite simple so let's add additional functionality over here to make animated likes and unlike. First of all, let's use Lottie CDN. So over here, let me go to this website and uh, let's grab this. But I have already installed that. So let me show you on app.blade.php, which is the main layouts file. And I have already added here. Okay. So let me go back to toggle like confession.blade.php file. And over here, let me copy this code for playing the animations. Okay so over here let me add x in it and on x in it we'll pass that code okay and let me indent it properly okay fine so now let's change this based on our requirements so container it is saying document that get element by id called lottie and instead of using the syntax, let's use Alpine syntax. So we can simply do refs reference and the dot heart. Okay. And let's create the reference for the heart. And over here, we'll be using button to show that heart icon. So, and let's create a reference. The name is heart. Okay. And on the second one is the path uh, that from where we have downloaded this JSON file and I have already downloaded that and kept inside a public directory so we can use simply doing let me wrap this inside of single quotes first and then let's do asset and then hard.json okay and on the renderer, this is the SPG file. So let's do SPG. 
and by default let's make the loop as false and autoplay is false as well so let me remove this and this and the name is optional let me remove this as well now let me save this and go back refresh the page and it is not showing anything so let me go to the console and we have lots of readers and it is saying the non-expected token where so let's remove this where from here and then let me save and refresh the page and we see this icon right but this icon is dim on every places if it is liked then we need to change that to red right if it is not liked then we need to show this dim icon so over here on this animated icon we have two different state let me show you one is unliked and another is liked right this one so we need to pause on this specific part specific segments right on if it is unliked then we need to pause on this part and if it is liked then we need to pause somewhere over here right so to do that on lottie animations we have different methods over here so probably using this specific method go to and stop so let's use this method over here if if it is liked then we will do this else we will do this and over here we can do animation dot go to any stop and if it is liked will be displaying this right so i have figured that the value and that value is 15 and if it is frame we need to say this is true okay and if it is not liked then we can do animation go to and stop and the stop at one okay now let me refresh the page and it got sensed if it is like then it is showing this state if it is not like then this is showing this unliked state and this is perfectly fine so now the thing remaining is once we click over this icon we need to play specific segments specific segments i mean like from 1 to this 14 or 15 and then from 15 or 22 let's say 26 i have already figured that values you can figure that values by yourself so let's do that and to play specific segments there is another method called animation.play segments okay and this also has two arguments one is the segments and another is force flag okay so let's use that method so over here on toggle like if it is like then we need to change to unlike state right so for that we can do animation dot like segments and uh, and its first argument let's pass this as array and the second argument as true let's do the same over here okay so we need to figure out the segments so i have already figured out the segments so if it is like then we will play the segments from here to here right so which is here 20 to 26 okay and if it is not liked then we need to play the segments from 1 to 15 so let me refresh this and if i click over here this is not working right so we need to make that workable and on this button we need to listen for the click event using add click prevent the default behavior and then we can call the method called toggle like and on the background we will be sending the ajax request to the server and we will be calling the method called toggle like on our component okay so let me save this and let me clear this and this is not working this is actually changing these values but this got disappeared so let's fix that 
So, so to fix that, we need to use wire ignore over here. So that this will ignore the DOM changes. And let me click this. And it is on light, but this is not working, right? So let me go to the end. Let me click this. This part is working. Yes, but this is not working, right? So over here, we are using the single animations variable everywhere. So let's make this Unix so that it will work for everyone. Okay, because currently this is only working for the last item uh, because this is only working for the last item. So let's make this unique. So to make that unique, we can do JSON input and then we can simply do confession ID. Okay, so let me do the same over here, here. here and then here as well so now let me save this refresh the page and let me go to the top click on like and this is working over here unlike and it is working perfectly and we see this black border so let's fix that as well so to fix that we can add additional classes called border zero and then while focus make the outline is none okay so let me refresh the page click this and it is working perfectly fine so everything is working so this much for this video i hope you learned something from this video so don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel as i will be uploading the videos like this and till then have a great time and i will see you on the next one